How's it going, folks? Mark, Ricky, hey! like-minded lunatics. We're doing another Friday night reaction video, and Ricky, we got a special one tonight. Uh, this is one that has been requested. So, yeah, that's right. We're doing a karate video. I wore my karate shirt. Uh, we've been doing uh, reacting to bands from non-English speaking countries, and obviously, baby metal has been suggested a ton. And the reason I haven't done it up to now is because I know them pretty well. And okay, I thought you did too. You do not. I haven't heard. I haven't seen this. Uh. -uh. Okay, so baby metal kind of broke. They, so they're obviously they're from Japan, mm -hmm. really popular over there. And then they started doing American stuff. And there were a bunch of, um, well, a bunch of dickheads online talking okay. about how you're not <laughs> heavy metal. You're. Why are you calling yourselves that? Typical sure. gatekeeping. Sure. Nonsense. And Rob Zombie was the first to come there to their defense and on Twitter saying, "I've played with these girls and they rock harder and work harder than a lot of the other bands I have ever worked with." And from that point forward, and what? Uh, shut up. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and every uh, other heavy metal bands came in and were like, "Shut up. Let them do what they're doing." Um. So that was kind of my first introduction to them was because Rob stepped in and was like, "Shut up." And we know how you kind of like Rob Zombie. I'm a <laughs> huge <laughs> Rob Zombie fan. If we could hang out with Rob, I feel oh, like yeah. that would be make my day. Um, but I chose this one because I got a background in martial arts. Like uh, traditional karate was where I kind of uh, started with uh, exercising. And uh, so I thought we would take a look at baby metal karate. You should put up a link to the video that you said about your sensei's funeral. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah, I can post that. You should post that. That's right a great, there. you're talking about karate. That's a great video. You should check it out. Okay, yeah, thanks, Ricky. I'll post that up yeah. right here. Uh, just, uh, just a warning, folks. It's it's kind of a sad story. It's beautiful, though. It's a beautiful story. It's a sad story. It's about how the how getting into that impacted me. Yes. yes. But I thought we'd take a look at this one, and uh, I got us some beers. I've got a Paddle Out IPA from Cellus Brewery here in Austin. Austin's oldest independent brewery. Nice. Yeah. Not quite as old as Japan, but old. That's right, yeah. But but few things are older than Japan, <laughs> I feel like. True. <laughs> well, cheers, Ricky. Cheers, folks. Happy Friday. Salud. Happy Friday. Let's, Lovely. Uh, let's do baby metal karate. Hajime! Cool costumes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. These kids are just gonna kick ass. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. What, what are you You're all like, ah, hey, it's kids. They're just gonna punch you in the face. They're gonna kick ass. Yeah, that's right. So this is what's called the yoi position. When you start, okay. when you start a cotter or something like that, the sensei or the the uh, uh, the uh, your upperclassman will call for yoi, and you get in your ready position. Some katas require you to do stuff like this. Others require you to do like that. That's what they're doing. <laughs> No, that's three amigos. Oh, there you go. That's different kata. Think of that beginning. A badass. <laughs> oh, it's so great. It sounds great. The video, the aesthetic of the video, all of the weird imagery, the effects. It's awesome. Doesn't Japan have like the best of everything? Oh, yeah. The best of metal, the best aesthetic. Awesome food. That's right. And so. Video uh, games? The, the video Everything. Everything. Why do we live here, Ricky? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so the girls at the beginning, um, they're in what's known as the, the, the shigodachi stance. So it's a horse stance with feet facing outward. And then they're doing oizuki, so straight punches. So they're in the shigodachi and they're doing straight punch, straight punches. That's right. That's it. Come on, everyone. One and two. Ich, ni, san, chi. <laughs> And they're doing triple punches. So, yep, yeah, so triple punches, uh, one to the face, two to the body. So that'd be, eat, punch, eat. Yep, and that's what it would be, and that's what, kind of what they're doing. And they're not doing the, it great, but the they are doing it. The bass drum doing a diddle you know, Oh, wait, is that what he's doing? Something like Let's that. Let's go back. The drummer kicks ass. <laughs> So 
So that, what they're doing, and I, do, I don't know because I didn't look it up, but what they're doing, there's a kata in Shitoru called Se, uh, 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 Seichen, and uh, it starts off like this, and then at one point it does, it does this, where you do a block to the top and a support to the, to the front. That's what it looks like! Doing a front kick with a front punch. Oh my god, I'm loving this, Ricky! So I know... They just did a side punch like in uh, uh, Teki Shodan. That's a cool lick. I don't know what's happening. I just noticed that too. I don't know what they're doing. The <laughs> Whoop. God! I think it might be a drum fill that's kind of processed, but it's awesome. God, that is bad. And I mean, look at that shot. I uh, know. Uh, almost like, like Shinigami's in the back. <sighs> Let's go back one more time and hear that. Ricky, I gotta hear it. Now, to me, I'm not entirely sure. It looks like... That that person will kick your ass. <laughs> so I can't tell if he's got a bow or a joe. So a bow is supposed to be one fist away from the top of your head in height. The joe is what you use before you train with a boken, so a wooden sword, which is what you use before you train with an actual katana or an actual sword. So I'm not sure. I don't know, it's hard to measure in this, but is that a Joe or a bow? Or maybe it's a bow Joe. <laughs> That's a different thing, dude. <laughs> oh, goodness. No, it's, it's, a, it's a bow. Oh, God. Reminds me of doing like actual bow stuff. Oh, I'm gonna have to break out the weapons, folks. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, so what they just did is highly contentious. I'll go back. I thought it was cool. No, 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 no. It's the vocalization. Highly contentious. Here we go. Let me, I'll point it out. Us. Okay, so in a lot of American dojos, and people are, you're gonna pile on me, I don't care, come at me. Uh, in a lot of American dojos, when a sensei or senpai will give out orders, like line up or put your front foot forward or whatever, the class will reply in assent with us. No one in Japan used to do that. So people in the States think us means like, okay. It doesn't. Uh, from the Japanese people I've talked to, that us means uh, is like a screw you. <laughs> no, it's like an abbreviated fo abbreviated form of ohayo gozaimasu, which is good morning. So it's the equivalent of going what up. Oh. So like in Japan, it's what kids would say us, and uh, like in old school karate, you just keep your fucking mouth shut. You don't do that. And so I remember training with. So my sensei was a third generation Shotokan practitioner. James was never say that to me. Uh, That's what a child would say to another child. So it's like, line up, let's go. What's up? That, that is exactly <laughs> what, up? what And James said, e either you say, hey, just yes, mm -hmm. or say nothing and just do what I told you. He called people who did this karate seals. Os, 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 os. Uh, so that's how we refer to people who did that. Uh, and folks who have trained or speak Japanese, you can pile on me if you want to, but from the people from Okinawa I talked to, don't say that to the sensei. Disrespectful. They would point at your head, which is bad.
I'm gonna go ahead and say that dude is doing more uh, Shaolin Kung Fu than actual karate. Yeah, we either Wushu or Shaolin Kung Fu. Bless you. <laughs> Although he's super talented. I don't think they had the Ronnie James Dio thing in Japan. I believe that's a, that's a Ronnie thing. Catch it. Oh! Hot oh, damn, she did it. She could accomplish anything. Yeah, yeah, ta! <laughs> I think they're fighting like the, the the spirits, like the Shinigami stuff. I think they're fighting them. And isn't it interesting that the 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 good guys, gals, are wearing black and the enemies are wearing white? Maybe. Yeah, I wonder if that's like. I don't the, know. The, I love the aesthetic of the video. It's so cool. All the leather and the yes pushing the air and oh God, I, we should go to Japan, Ricky. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> Camera. She did break the camera. Holy crap. Cut the fly. She'll let it go. I love in Karate Kid when when uh, oh, yeah. Mr. Miyagi sees Daniel son do it and he's like, beginner's luck. He's so yeah, pissed off. Oh, so good. Oh, they're blowing up the masks! Them? And they is disappeared. It like, is it like you're battling your inner demons or something? I don't know. I'm wondering if that's what it is. It's an internal conflict. Be it Boom, and they disappear. Maybe that's what it is, Ricky. I thought it was like actual opponents. Like so, uh, like the spirits, the Shinigami or whatever. I thought they were like fighting them, but perhaps it was themselves. That is a very Zen concept. And you can overtake them if you have the support of your friends. You pull everything one up, see? Oh Ooh, we're God. getting heavy here, I, people. I think you heavy. Know, I think you know more about it than I do. Mm. Wow! I love doing these because this there's all of this music that it's so outside of the box, and you're like, baby metal? What is that from Japan? What is that? And I've never heard this stuff. And I love being exposed to all these different styles. This is a great musically. This was great. It was really tight. Yep. It was intricate. Um, it kicked ass. It was well, awesome. And that's one of the things I love about like Japanese culture is they seem to just be able to hone in on what makes things perfect. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense, and I'm not trying to be like uh, Japanophile or something like that, but it does seem like they have this distinct ability of going, okay, in that music, this is the thing that's perfect. Yeah. Let's do that perfectly. Yeah. It's the same thing with like their food and everything else. You know what? They're very detail oriented, right? Maybe yes. that's part of it. Maybe I so. I, but man, I had not seen the video. Mm -hmm. I heard the song. Had not seen the video and boy, that was good. Badass. Well, folks, let us know in the comments what you think and come at me with the us stuff, but I will stand behind that. It's nonsense. Stop saying that in the dojo. Just say, hey, or Wakari Moss. I understand. Stop saying us, 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 us. Stop doing that. Uh, and folks, uh, let us know in the comments what you think. Ricky, thanks for doing this. Yeah, it was awesome. Take care of yourselves, folks. We'll see you soon.